it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Magic the Gathering Chandelier. Uh, so I, I tweaked out the deck a little bit just to make things, just just to change up the theme, because you know I, I've been doing. Uh, oh yes, tribute. Thank you. Uh, I would like some juice, please. Why am I walking so fast? Because uh, I've been doing the. Uh, oh, my thing was still going. That's why. I've been doing the plant theme, and that's that's been going okay. I didn't have enough plants to, you know, really make it work. So I, I changed the deck theme, and I'll show you it in the first battle that I do. In the meanwhile, dang it, I'm going to try to. There's Unicorn's you know, Haven. And there's just creatures up here that I want to get for blue amulets, which I currently have none of, so frickin' never mind, I guess. Welp. And no, none of this helps me at all. That's a lot of green creatures. Green cards for green amulets. Uh, creatures for whites down there. Bah! Doesn't help me. Alright, uh, what was it? Shadowcliff Tavern? Where's that? Uh, oh, I just came from there! Nuts. Alright, well, whoop! Hello. I will duel this sea dragon! Oh, what the heck's going on here? Why is it showing the... Oh, that's not right. It's showing the, uh... Windows bar at the bottom, and I don't know why. Can I just, uh... Alright, that helps a little bit, I guess. <laughs> okay, here we go! Let's see, uh... Uh, let's throw out the Birds of Paradise. Flying mana. I do have a Typhoon in my deck so I can get some extra damage on this blue creature. Har har. Oh crap, a tortoise! Uh oh. I've changed all my plans. Death approaches. Let's see, let's get the Land of War Elves out. Um, and that's it for now. But soon, mayhap you'll see. I do need, I just need more cards. Just always need more cards. Uh, let's just get a, uh, let's just get extra. Oh, you're gonna make me attack? No! How can I? Um, dang it, that sucks. All right, well, I'll get a forest out. So now I have to attack, which means my elf is going to attack into the tortoise and die. Or will it? Sure would be a shame if I giant... Giant growth, the elf, massive elf! Stop the tortoise! So, I talked before in the previous episodes about how, uh... The... Green decks are usually, you know, big dick swinging decks where you just try to make as big as creatures as possible usually and just kind of get in there. That's usually how it goes. So I'm following that theme. It's, um, but also kind of based around Fungus Sword, how well he did in the previous fights. So the idea is, uh, growth. Not just to say big dick swinging, but getting that dick big to swing with it. So starting small and getting bigger for the most part. Um, well, Typhoon, take that. There's fire damage. And then, because I don't give a shit. Check it. Now my Birds of Paradise is a 2-4. Whee! I just start hitting them in the air. What's creature bond equal to power? To toughness, okay. Now right, well, I will block here. And then I can tap him. Wait. Is this old rules where he suddenly doesn't do damage anymore because he's tapped? I think that might be the case. Yep. Okay. I was going to tap him and giant growth him. Current magic, that would work. But not with these rules. Whoops. Now he's got a tor tortoise. All is lost. But my birds of paradise is up to a 3-4. Attack for three. He'll hit for six. 
Hmm. I'll get the damage while I can. Oh, he jumped his tortoise! Nah, <laughs> the tortoise went, hey, bird! <laughs> uh, giant growth and kill it? I don't think that's really worth it. I'd rather hold on to the trick in case I decide to block water elemental at some point. I'm taking six here, it sucks. Segovian Leviathan, that means nothing to me. Oh, Stream of Life, perfect. Okay, so now I can attack for three in the air. And stream myself back up to 15, which should give me just enough life to uh, outrace them, because... Oh, is that Island Walking or Island Home? Oh, just Island Walk, okay. I got that one for some. Nope, that's nine damage. Okay. If I draw a forest, I got this. If I... Oh. Please be a forest. It's a crower. It's pretty good. Balls. Yeah, my parents gotta put the crawl worm down. I can still do things. Alright, check it. Alright, uh, so I pretty much have to block the water elementals, otherwise I'd die. Crawl worm, block one water elemental. I have to block other water elemental. Now, since He's going to die anyway. Would I rather have the 3-4 flying or the 6-4 on the ground? So add a green mana to give it giant growth. Well, if he's tapped, he's going to get killed. So, no, I have to put it here. Still alive, bitch. Now you're tapped out and I got crawl worm staring you right down in the face. That's not going to do it. Well, I got him down to one. Not bad, right? Good job, deck. <laughs> all I had it was all I need was a forest. Great. Well, they both have uh, three mana taps now. Where was I going? There's creatures down that way. Why is that colored blue? Oh, it's because it's controlled by blue. So all I gotta do is save it from the blue mana tap and I'll be okay. Go, go, go. Can totes do. Are you running from me? Come here. Now we duel, mind stealer. Ow. Oh, there it is. One of the new cards I put into the, uh, the growth deck. It's Killer Breeze. Thank. Probably get them down right now. So this is one of the best magic cards I've ever made. It's a 0-1 flying, but for one green mana it gives a plus one plus one till end of turn. That just gives it so many, so much utility. And uh, he missed a land drop, so excellent. Bloop. Get you for two! Plus one from Land War Elf, equal three! I can math. Alright, sick, free win. And I could tsunami if I just really wanted to make sure he couldn't do anything. Die, mind stealer. You didn't even steal my mind. Oh. Nope, actually better just to get the uh, damage in right now rather than getting more lands. You know. And that's game. Cool. Good job, bees. Alright, done. Got a bunch of cards. There it is! Duplicate card of my choice! I was not prepared for this. I never am. Fourth Black Lotus. No. Uh, doubling up on a mox is always funny. Wouldn't mind another Berserk. I could get a second Killer Bees. 
Kind of lean towards Berserk. This is a good card. Oof. Let you know when I find it. It's uh, somewhere. Uh. I get another Birds of Paradise. I still have Berserk, right? Pretty positive I do. Oh boy. I am moving the mouse so slowly to help make sure I find this dang thing. There it is. Ah, got it. Okay, yes. All right, second Berserk obtained. Great. It's really help. Dick grow big and strong. Just gonna throw that bitch in there. Gone. Alright, uh, where was I going? Town to Marjorie Keep. I wish I had more jewels. Did you just run into me so you can give me tribute? What a bro! Uh, 40 food, I suppose, is fine. One less thing I need to buy. Almost there. Blah, blah, blah. Dang it. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, oh yes. Give you tribute to Mind Stealer. 120 gold. What's that one? That's Nevermore Spire, which has colorless cards. Which I don't actually care about. Whoa, creatures. Oh, hello. You're quite large. Just, well, I can't turn one bees. Hello, I use bees. I just realized I've been losing so many cities that my maximum mantle, has, or maximum life has gone down. That blows. Oh shoot, I could put the aspect of wolf on bees? Perfect. Wolf bees. Not only will the forests Give them power. I could tap the forests to give them power. Oh, psychic venom. Worth. Attack bees, go! Ah! I'll take two to deal you four. I'll take two to deal you one, I guess. That's how it works. That may not be worth it very quickly. Time elemental. Balls. Uh. Is this only when it attacks? Dang it, it's only when it attacks. Alright, well, go bees! Now, vaguely, time elemental can only flip back. Uh, permanents that don't have an enchantment on them. So he needs to flip back my enchantment first before he can actually return bees to my hand. See? Like so. So I think they still have bees. So I can just put the wolf right back on it. And attack. For another four. We'll see uh, how how often he'll just keep bringing the aspect of the wolf back into my hand instead of doing anything else. Come on, AI. There it is. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, do I have enough to aspect of the wolf, black lotus bees, berserk, and kill him? Maybe. Put that there, up to five. I think I have just enough. Tight, check it. Fast effects, sacrifice for green mana. 
pop all of it up and get him to a 7-4. And then use my last mana. I'll take two. But Berserk Breeze! Got ya! Haha! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Wow, I, f I feel like the uh, frequencies of these attacks has increased greatly. Which could be troublesome. I need to start killing wizards. Slash having better decks. Not more elf. Huh. Yes, come on, Windows. I've got two. Just gonna keep getting mana sources out. Psychic Venom sure seems to be a uh, reoccurring theme with a lot of these decks. Black, blue, white. Yoshin Soldier, oh no! I, man, I wish I had another forest. It's not worthwhile growthing this one if I just have the Psychic Venom on it. Alright, what do? Put the Aspect of the Wolf on Birds of Paradise. We give me a 0 2. Or I could take the damage to get bees out. Let's get bees out. We're going for the bees. My greatest enemy. Not my greatest ally. Because that worst heal attack for one. Psych second Psychic Venom. Jesus. There we got Black Lotus. Wow, which gives me all kinds of... Uh, Options here. Uh, don't want to destroy one island. Get a Fungrosaur out. Which would help me defend. Going for it. And we'll tap. Elf. Okay. See, that's another thing that goes big and strong. He's Fungasaur. Yeah, they're getting him for one damage off the bees. You know, I wonder with the bees, like flavor speaking, if the uh, pumping it with green mana doesn't necessarily make them bigger, but just makes more bees appear. That'd make more sense. Oh my god, an untainted forest. Great. Wild growth, that one. Frickin' power sink? Do I have four? One, two, three. Nope. Arrgh. By the way, thank you to people who pointed out that uh, power sink forces you to tap the lands. I actually did not remember that part of the card. I just remember the uh, pay X part. I think I got confused with another one. Because there's a, another card that's very similar functionality-wise. Yes, block Funkasaur. Do it. Mana Link. Link? Leak. Yeah, I think I got confused with Mana Leak. Go, oh, Funkasaur's getting bigger. Attack for one all you want, dude. And I have two aspects of the wolf. Man, two of them on fungus are. It'd be really funny. As he continues to grow larger. But I'd rather get actual damage through. So I'm going to put on a flying creature instead. Boop. There we go. Block to it. Yes! If he attacks that soldier, I might berserk it just to kill it. It's not a terrible idea. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Or I could save that to, uh... Now, I'll get rid of him. Since this is his only creature, might as well get rid of it. 
Consider saving the Berserk for one of my creatures to hit him really hard. But he isn't exactly playing a whole lot of creatures on his side, so if he's just got an empty board, I would rather have that. Well, now I've got... Let's put a second... Let's, let's do it on Fungasaur. Tap him! No! You tapped Fungasaur! Now he can't attack this turn! The monster. Get him for a whopping three. Well, damage is damage. Whatever you can squeak on in is absolutely worth it. Oh, not Tamed Wiles. Draw me up an extra land. That's more power for fungus and bees. Search that out. Siren's Call. We'll attack. We'll do it. It only makes us stronger. Attack for nine. Pump once to make it 10 damage. Now, I will lose Birds of Paradise because I used it for mana, but whatever. Another Yoshin Soldier. Okay. Oh, wild growth. I'll slide that fungus are. Do I have enough to kill? Oh, I totally do. I could do a bunch of other tricks, or I can just go in for the win here. Yep, he does a block. I'll hit bees with the giant growth. And then pump him as much as possible. Should bring him up to exactly eight. Yeah, that's it. Gotcha! Look at all these cards I won! Twiddle! And I got a blue amulet! Alright, we're gonna attempt to save this city. Oof. This anti, though. Alright, well, I just fought one of these guys, so I have an idea of how to face him. Serendib of Free, you just start with that? It's a 3 4 flying! Hmm. I might berserk that right away just to save myself a lot of headache. Like, it'll die. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I don't have a good answer for that right now. It's gonna get the six damage in anyway, so I'll just kill it. Call it a day. All right. Black Lotus down, Thicket Basilisk. Oh, power sink. Why? Oh, no. That's bad. Okay. Now what? Fucking nothing? Great. Power sinks causing problems. Kismet. Everything I play comes into play taps. Well... Balls. I'll play Black Lotus now since it's come to play tapped. You have to tap it to use it. That way, if I do need it next turn, I'll at least have it up. Corvus Bell. All swaps are 1 1 creatures. Well, I've got all this mana. You best hope I don't get bees. Or a crawl worm. <laughs> Whimsy. Oh, here it is. Uh, this is one of the cards I want to play in the blue deck. But he's actually playing it. This is one of those cards that's exclusive to this game because it has literal random effects. So it's a bottle of Suleiman. Uh-oh. Bottle of Suleiman. So it flips a coin. If it's heads, he gets a 5-5 five, five flying genie. If it's tails, he takes damage. And the video's broken, so I don't know what it got. I think he took damage. He also got Sinbad. All right, and then gets to draw a card. And then gets Fog. Cool. So all in all, he got to draw a card, but he took five damage. So I think I'm going to be okay, guys. <laughs> really glad that he didn't get the freaking genie. Because that, that would just be game over. Psychic Phantom. He's attacking with a swap! <laughs> Ow! Gross! Alright. 
Uh, I attack for one? <laughs> Got him. It's a stream of life. Just to, uh, keep my health up. My life up, I should say. To, uh, Well, at least buy myself time, I don't know. Right now I'm attacking with an elf, and he's attacking back with Swamp. Don't. Dang it. Uh, the ocean Soldier. Ugh. Another forest out. Uh, take this. Got you. <laughs> Use Typhoon to take, make it take two damage for your islands. That'll... I'll show them. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna block. It's only one damage. Oh, boy. Look at all these lands I have. At this rate, the chances of me drawing something useful are... Way up there. What else you got? All right. Uh, I, I, I could block the, the soldier with the elf and kill the soldier. Is that really worth it? Not right now. I'm just, it's just, it's still only one damage. Oh, Meek Stone! Heck. Creatures with power three or greater do not untap. Two giant girls. Oh, that means if I do get a big dick out, I'm not gonna be able to get it up. Because it comes into play tapped and won't untap because of Meek's Tone. Wow, that's mean. I get it. Funkasaur. It's time. Uh, it can just block until it gets big enough. And then I just get one real big swing in there. Or, or, I get the Instill Energy card. Instill Energy would solve all problems. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Colossus of Sardia. You're a 9-9. Nine -nine. Uh. <laughs> oh. It's not over yet. I can still come out okay. You only be able to attack with it once, and then it's meek stoned forever. Oh no, because you only pay, need to pay nine to untap it. Never mind. Drain power. Twiddle fungusaur. Now nah, it's bad. Well, if I want to live, I have to double giant growth Llanowar elf. So if he attacks the Colossus of Sardia, I can at least block and only take a total of three damage this turn. He mana burned himself for seven. How? Oh, because he drained all my power and didn't use it. Haha. <laughs> okay, second swap through. All right, so I'll take f four, go down to three. Eh, still in this. Boy. Mmm. Yep, that's death. He paid to untap class to Sardia. That's that is a big old game over. Oh. And that's a lot of cards I don't want to lose, so I'm gonna load it. I should I wish I wasn't doing that. But the thing is like this uh 
series has already gone on for so long that I want to kind of start to wrap it up. Because I, 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 of all the uh, games I've done on this channel, I think this is not the actual longest series in terms of how many episodes there are. Especially since they're, uh... Ugh. Man, I burned myself. Especially since they're uh, also now hour-long episodes. This is just a long-ass series. Whimsy! You crumble your mock sapphire! Lol. I don't know if I can live. Yay. If I can get one more mana for Cockatrice, I will. Is this two damage? One damage. I forgot this starts the Serendipity Freak. All right, there we go. Cockatrice, ow. Ah, power sick. Fucking lose again! Whee! Jesus. Don't maybe put giant spiders in my deck. Although I just should have that in general. This opening hand sucks. Oh, he only started with Merfolk of the Pearl Trident! That's far more reasonable than a frickin' Ifrit! Look at... You can see your boobies. Cool, mana's cool. I like having mana. Feels good. That's what I want. Ow. Okay. I don't really have that many forests in this deck. This is like a 45 card deck and I have 15 actual lands. Now I'm getting all of them! Royal Assassin, shit. Awesome. All right. Okay. Cool. Just, just wait. Freaking Force of Nature's gonna show up or something. Gonna turn this whole thing around. Till then, I'm just getting slapped in the face by merfolk boobies. Or fins, if you'd rather. God damn it. It's, or I'm about to play the biggest stream of life you ever did see. Channel, stream of life. That'll show them. Ow. Uh, he attacked with his merfolk and then assassinated his own merfolk. Computer AI at its best, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! All is over for you, for the Crawworm Arise! Oh, as a real assassin with that meek stone? No! No, he's gonna twiddle it! Then he's gonna assassinate it! No, Crawworm! <laughs> Ah, oh, you monster! Oh, you're the worst! Oh, I have plans with him. Not good plans, but plans. Yeah, he's got a 5 2. Hurricane deals X to only oh, creatures flying. Bowels. Well, I'm about to get kicked in the dick real hard, so let's get some life back. Okay, uh... What do I need here? Alright, here goes another whimsy. Random effects! My board's like empty, so if there's any targets, it's gonna be your shit. Ready? Here we go. Time Elemental's my forest, so that goes back to my hand. Alright, healing salve on me! I get three life! And crumbles his shapeshifter, so he kills his own shapeshifter! Hooray! He gets life based off of it, but... I'm way less bone, and Fungasaur arrives! 
I swear to God, if he twiddles it. In fact, I'm going to instill energy fungus R just to make sure. There. So if he twiddles it, I can untap it. Getting around is a royal assassin bullshit. Oh, good. Good. He's got another one. That's a 5 2. I uh, could use a regenerate now. Mm. It's not looking great. Maybe he'll attack the shapeshifter and then assassinate it because, I don't know. What? Your power sinking black lotus on yourself. Ugh. Look, this is a next level of magic right now because I do not understand what he's doing. Nice Sarah Angel nerd. Hurricane. Yes. Got him. Typhoon. Uh, he only has one island. Take one! Not so much a typhoon as it is a gentle brief. Ah, oh, Siren's Call! Now we have to attack. Oh, no. Uh, combat. I have to, otherwise they die. Our right, fast effects untap Fungusar so he doesn't get assassinated. Oh, oh, perfect. Fast effects giant growth, the land where else to kill your shapeshifter. And then Fungusar gets stronger. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm glad he blocked like that. It worked out my favorite. The basilisk! There it is. I don't think I can use lure on him because I think he'll get assassinated before that happens. I could use lure so that the assassin has to block unless it's tapped. Second Fungasaur. Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna go with this old trick. Because the assassin has to attack, or has to block. Oops, it's still energy, don't tap. So I can put one damage on the assassin. Let's just put it all on the assassin. Perfect. There we go. Slowly, slowly turning it around. I got this. Carry an ants. Ooh, that's not bad. But I have Berserk. Everyone attack. Ha! How will you block? No defenders? Oh, oh there it goes. Puts all on the ants. Well, untap. Um, all on ants. Just in case he tries to pump it through the damage or something. Which I thought it didn't count as lands or mana up. He might have made a little puppet enough to keep the ants open, but I wasn't paying attention. Second ants. Dang it. Oh, that's right. I have lure. They have to block him. I forgot. Good. Come on, nerds. So he's got four mana up so he can pop up the ants to a 4-4 four, four at best. That's got one. One, two, three, four, and two. Blue. Bigger fungus are.
I think I'll actually have saved these people. Yes. Yep, I got it. Attack with everybody. Hey. No effects from him. So I'll berserk my last fungusaur into that big dick. Psht. The people rejoice, they are freed! Can I buy some things, please? Ah, not these. A blue amulet for creatures. I have one blue amulet. <sighs> Alright, so I'm not gonna get good creatures out of it. Alright, forget, never mind. Who's attacking? Zephyr's Keep. Zephyr Bazaar. Oh, yes, tribute, please. A blue jewel. Perfect. Zephyr Bazaar is right down here. So I might be able to run there and prevent another city from being taken over. I have two blue amulets for any creatures. What creatures would I want for blue amulets? Uh, for green? Mm. I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can run to that bazaar and save him. After I make a pit stop, of course. Hello, wise man. Tell me the secret of any black creature. The mandurang. Cool. No. Straight south. Okay. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I'm coming, bazaar people. Eh. Don't do it, Stallion. You just like to teleport people. I don't want that. I would love a spell from your deck, Sedge Beast. Oh. Your deck sucks. Ah. Uh. Ja. <laughs> Not really a fan of any of these. Maybe Dancing Scimitar. Or Strip Mine. It's dancing Scimitar. Sure. I'm here to save you, Bazaar! Two red jewels, please! Wait, can I just zap them? Will that save the people? Zap! 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 Didn't work. Alright. Ooh, that's... Berserk is my ante, that's kind of scary. And my opening hand, it's not great. All right, for the people of Zephyr Keep. Okay. Drew into a second forest, which is great. So now I have three mana. Don't have creatures worth playing right now. Unless I aspect of wolf birds of paradise. That'll make him to a 1-2 flying. Use Mana Vaulted just to get a turtle out? Good. I hope it kills you. Go for it. Aspect of Wolf. Time to race. So aside from him taking Bird of Paradise damage, he'll take Mana Vault damage every turn. And his tortoise is only going to deal me one. A oh, typhoon? Get some extra deeps right there. I could also berserk bird of paradise after a giant growth. Bring it up to eight damage. I'm, yeah, okay, all right. I might be able to close this out using just bird of paradise. No other creature. Cockatrice that can't play. Right, well, Typhoon, get an extra three damage in. He cast Siren's Call, so I have to attack or the creature dies, and I will gladly attack. This bring down to seven, and then I'll have him dead next turn, unless he's got an answer for flying. All right, sick. There's all the lands untapped. Giant Growth, any response? Cool. Berserk. Done. 
I am now max on spells. You get extra food. Mercy from the mind stealer. Two blue jewels. Sweet, now I've got cash money. Alright, what was that said? Nothing but the Gildos has seen Arzakhan. Arzakhan is a big evil bad guy. So nothing said of the monster can be trusted. It is rumored, however, that it, is one, it has one fear. An ancient rival, the wizard Yaudan. Unfortunately, it has been centuries since the two planeswalkers met and fought. Perhaps we're fortunate this rival's not here. It's likely he's as evil as Arzakhan. Yeah, that sounds like set up for some sequel potential that we never got. Make a sequel to this game, anyone. What is happening right here? Whoop. Well, Alright. Well, I save those people. I don't know about you guys, but I think this deck's pretty much ready to go up against the blue castle. La 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 la. I did get all these extra blue amulets, though. I might head back to that city and trade them in for some green creatures? Nope, blue wizards attacking Unicorn Shrine. Where is Unicorn Shrine? <coughs> Ooh, sorry. I was right next to the blue castle. So I might be able to just warp to it. Never did get the rest of the mocks cards. Oh well. Uh, another sea dragon. Uh, I'm gonna duel him just so that take off some more health from the green wizard or blue wizard since I haven't done a whole lot to him yet. Do I really have that many spells on my deck that I'm just barely getting creatures? I have not counted at all or sorted or did anything smart with this deck. Mm, just kidding. Now the Craw Worm is here. So I had people, I saw people asking why the Craw Worm is bad. Uh, the reason being is that, yes, it has six power, which is a lot, but it only has four toughness, which means he can get killed by several smaller creatures. And not only does he have. So as long as he has 6-4 for 6 mana, he doesn't do anything special. Like, if, I, if you're spending that much mana on a creature, he better have Trample, or Flying, or when he enters the battlefield to some kind of crazy effect. Crawl Worm is none of that. Destroy all your islands, though. Counterspell! Nuts. Do you have a Counter Worm? Bitch. So, the thing is, like, even though Crawlworm's got a lot of power, he just dies to several smaller creatures. Like, there are creatures that only cost, like, 3-4 mana that have power 4. So they will trade up to him. So their 4 mana creature trades up and kills my 6 mana creature. So economically speaking, I just lose out. And that's why he sucks. And I'll just kill you. All right, let's go on this way, trying to get to Marja Creep. Whoops. Hello, Mind Stealer. More tribute. Another blue jewel. Perfect. Good timing. Don't, 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 don't. Elementalist. Mm. Fine. Oh, I got Crawler in my hand and all these wild growths to get him up faster. Gotta do this right. It, it didn't do it right. It like lagged for a second. Oh, yep. Yeah. Legal target? You mean this one that I clicked? Fucking game. Eh. I do have a stream of life. Get four life right now. Don't need it. Oh! It's coming back, baby. Crawler. Gotta have the crawl wolf up and ready to go. Mm. 
Wall of Air. It's a 1 5 flying. Not too bad. But now. I have an H7! Ah! Right, that's half your life. I always thought I was really smart as a kid because in this wall of air art, you can kind of see that there's actually like, you can see like the silhouette of the person casting it. Like I never, it took me a while when I was first playing Magic to like, I was like, I saw it way later and I was like, oh, that's so cool. Look, it's right there. And I remember pointing it out to everyone I knew and be like, did you know you could actually see the sorcerer casting the spell? <laughs> I'm just gonna stream a life. Just so that if he attacks with the water elemental, doesn't matter. He shouldn't, but he did. And now you're gonna die. Unless you have another creature to block Crawler. Ah, fire elemental. All right, well, my Crawler room's filled with energy. Kyot. Chomp. And now I can block your bullshit. Ooh, not quite. It's a seven six. Stop him, elf! Boop. That's what we call a chomp block. Where you send in like a super tiny creature to just stop something really big and really threatening and just sucks it hard. Hey, regeneration. All the enchantments. All the enchantments for Crawl Worm. God damn it. Alright, I swear I'll get past you eventually. There it is. Fireball! Regenerate! You almost got me. You still attacked. You're tapped out. Alright, I win. Yay. All these cards that I can't have. A duplicate card of my choice? Am I allowed to? All my stuff's full. Uh. Did not realize you did this. Wouldn't mind another Mox Ruby. Okay. Hold on. Apparently gotta sell some cards. Get some rid of some of these dumb. Just get rid of some of these dumb. A clockwork beast could be funny. Just gonna sell a bunch of these. Yeah. Sell that. Sell Ornithopter. Uh, sell all spears. Ah, oh, my card collection. Oh no! When I miss my collection of cards, both in the IRL and actual. Fine offering. Sell four of those. Uh, sell two holy days. I'm just selling off crap right now. Risk polarity. Uh, Mesa Pegasus. Pikemen. The witch hunter. The uh, friggin' I don't know. Uh, 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 sacrifice. All right, cool. I got me a little bit of money. All right, green creatures. So if I want to keep the theme of. 
biggest dicks. Where, where can I where can I find big dicks? I mean, whirling dervish, whirling dervish fits the theme of growing bigger, but only if he deals damage to the opponent. Trucker. Singing tree. That's actually not bad. Just negates an attacking creature's power. I had Praetis Gypties for the longest time as a kid, and I thought it sucked. Because I sucked. I was like, three mana for a 1 1, that's dumb! And I didn't understand the power of just reducing a creature's power. It's just, that's, like, that's useful. Oh, people of the woods. Has toughest equal to the number of forest you control. Yeah, so it's a one, at least a one two. Usually. Oh, it's another thing of bees is three blue amulets. Hornet cobra. That's terrifying. Bee bee snake. You're like a different turtle. Uh, is Avenger. As power and toughness equal to the number of artifacts opponent controls. This actually not be that this may not be that bad against the uh final boss. I don't know if I'll actually use it though. Fairy Dragon. Play random effects. That one. I wanna do this one. It's got random effects. I'm in. <laughs> it's a mistake. Could get a third crawl worm though. I had carnivorous plants way back when too. Alright, done. I think I'm good, you guys. It's the deck of any blue creature. Alright. Uh hold on, save the game. I gotta put the random thingy in my deck. What was it called? I forgot. Uh, oh, Fairy Dragon. Yes. I also just need to adjust my tech in general. I'm reaching 50 cards. Which is a bit higher than I want for what I'm trying to play here. Probably go down some things. Uh, go down a wild growth. Two is plenty. Get rid of Typhoon. Tsunami, useful. Typhoon, eh. Alright, sure. Okay. <laughs> now I've got the wacky card. So I can do some random stuff, but who knows what's gonna happen? And I'll start, I'll use that to defend the next, the next city. By, oh, I can't warp there. Oh no, Unicorn Shrine. You're dead, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm losing all my mana links. This sucks. Alright, I need to get my mana links back. I'm a fool. Okay. I'm gonna end this episode, and we'll come back and I'll... hopefully do some wacky stuff. Alright. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time!